Hello everyone, it's Tilly from Tilly Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am here to pre-plan the week of the 24th of January in my 7x9 Tilly Journals Time to Planner. Um, this is the kit I'm using. It's Gamer. It's quite summery. However, I have the week off work. Um, the entire week off work, which is going to be glorious. Um, so, what I'm going to do is use this kit because I'm hoping to get a reasonable amount of gaming in and stuff. Um, I also have these daisy dot overlays i didn't really know what overlays to put with this kit but they seem to work so i went with it um just looking at what girls i've got and stuff um i've got this washi from simply gilded got my stickers pulled out in my planner phase reusable sticker album i do pr for planner phase so i get a discount for promoting her stickers and this will be the week we are working with i think this is the first non-planner face kit in my planner so yeah so without any further ado i'm gonna get the base of the spread down and see where we get to um yeah okay cook. whilst i'm bobbing the base down i'm going to do my little social justice chat and today i'm going to talk about a post from that does feminist um and it is also with undo girl i think um so this is nine lies we tell boys and girls about gender number one boys can't cry Emotions are seen as a sign of weakness for men. Not only does this prevent boys from expressing happiness, it also increases the risk of mental illness and depression. Let boys express themselves without being laughed at. Number two, girls are too emotional. Girls are called crazy, melodramatic and attention seeking, which is not only false, but undermines the pain and experiences of women and stops them from speaking up when something happens to them. Women are entitled to express their emotions without being disrespected or made fun of. Number three, Boys are alpha or beta. Boys aren't born with alpha or beta genes. The idea that something made up, the idea is something made up to them. Ugh. The idea is something made up to make fun of men who don't fit the stereotype of masculinity. Boys can show empathy, strength, intelligence, kindness, anger, passion, and a myriad of other emotions. They don't have to limit themselves to either alpha or beta. Number five, girls want to get married and have babies. Just because girls tend to want watch more roman romantic comedies than boys doesn't mean we all want to get married and have babies. It may be some women's ambition, but not for everyone. Marriage and children is a choice made by an individual, not based on a gender. Boys love fighting. Boys are brought up to compete against each other for the top dog position and a strong man must be a huge muscly one. Not every man boy is born with the same body shape. Some men are naturally slim and tall. It doesn't mean they are less manly. Number six, girls don't get horny. We're taught that boys are the horny ones and girls are innocent and pure. This is completely false. Women experience sexual desire just like men and we need to normalize and accept that female pleasure is just as important as male pleasure. Number six, seven, clothes have a gender. Apart from physical size and dimension, clothes don't have a gender. Women can wear suits and men can wear dresses. Clothes should be a personal expression of who you are. They shouldn't make you, it, they should make you feel good. Your gender shouldn't limit you. Some, number eight, some jobs are not for men slash women. What you want to work is, is completely up to you. Gender does not make you better or worse at certain subjects. And just because an industry is dominated by a particular gender doesn't mean you shouldn't be there. And number nine, your gender defines you. People grow up worrying that they um, don't feel like a man or woman because of who they love, what they like doing, what they want to work as, and that's really sad. What you want to wear, do, love, and whatever else is your choice, and it has nothing to do with your gender. Okay, so that is the base of this spread all down. You'll notice I haven't put any work or full boxes in because I am off all week. So I have popped in a few bits to get this the plan with me started so the first three things are my videos which is popping in there monday wednesday friday then the other two things that are at the bottom of the page are my wash hair days so i've just got a dyno and a wash hair script for those there and there and then at the top of the day we have a workout on monday and thursday that's why they have an extra thing and then we have my morning routine every other day so i just got my planner face stickers to mark those in and i'm trying to switch between blue and pink and between the icons but i couldn't quite do it because otherwise all of the icons would have to be pink one of 
type of icon would have all had to be pink and the other would all have had to be blue um, so I didn't quite make that work but that's fine and then we're just popping in morning routine on the days the script in as well because um, I do want to do that every day even though I'm off work might not happen but the plan is to do it and that's what we're putting in here the ideal day um, so that's all of those in then also last but not least I haven't put a thing in on Saturday so we need one more world functional this will do nicely if it peel up there we go so on Saturday mornings we like to change our sheets and on Sundays we like to tidy and I don't think I just realized I've pulled in anything to mark my cleaner coming on Tuesday so I might just need to pop in a something to mark that in so let's just grab a strip of washi to mark my cleaner on Tuesday and I don't think I've got the icon or anything but I'm just going to pop it in while I remember there's no birthdays or anything this week so that is all of the base down and um, I'm going to see if I've got a cleaner script I don't think I do um yeah I do oh beautiful so just going to use this little mop bucket and a cleaner script there beautiful um so let's zoom in and look at the first half of the week okay so monday i'm going to start with the evening because i find that easiest we have rangers in the evening i'm just going to use one of these squared off boxes preferably putting it down straight not wonky as i currently am doing there and i have as usual my ranger script and a little trefoil and whilst we're down at the bottom of the day i'm actually going to mark in guides on the following day in not quite the same way but with similar -ish stickers it actually starts earlier than that so i'm going to put it about here because then it's about when guides actually fits in but i very rarely do anything productive after guides but still um, so what I actually quite often like to do is put the trefoil at the top and the guides there. So that works quite well. Um, the main things that are going to be happening on Monday is the main thing is going to be that I'm going to be working on planners and also I want to do the designing for February new releases. So the design box is going to go at the bottom of the day just above this wash hair. And for that I've got this little character sticker and a design script. And then the rest of the day, I'm hopefully going to have made the planner orders that I have to make. And I'd quite like to fit a full box on this day. So I think I'm just going to pull in a random full box, put that in next, and then just put in whatever box I have space for here, which I, sh which I think should be a half box, but I don't actually quite know. I think it's just under a half box. So are, the, are these half boxes the same size? That was there, where's it go up to? Can we pull this up the tiniest, tiniest bit and fit a half box in? Because I think that's probably my preference. Um, but I'd quite like to use a patterned half box, particularly this one, because I'm gonna color block the alternate spread of this. And um, so like the memory plan with me for this spread. And so I want to use up anything patterned. And then for that, I just got a giant planner sticker in there and I should have pulled out a make planner script but I didn't but um I'll find one in a bit oh I did bring out a cleaner script that was bad oh well they can just go into my reusable album or in fact they can just go back here onto the reusable sticker on that paper at the back of my planner main thing on Tuesday we're going to pop in a half box up on its side and we're going to use another of those patterned half boxes even though they all kind of do fit a certain colour now but it's fine so we're going to pop this up on its side and that is going to be for foil and cutting new releases um it's actually going to be print foil and cut but um so we've got foil put a little ampersand in the middle and cut and then i also want to work on redesigning the twinkle thursday and I kind of want a third box sized thing for that. So, hmm, I've used both of the third boxes in this color. That was a bit dumb. Um, we'll use this blue one 
for the redesigning Twinkle Thursday. It might take longer than that, but that's all we're going to put in it for now. We can always fill the rest of this space later. On Wednesday in the evening, we are doing our traditional wedding Wednesday, which I think, what colour of half box haven't I used yet? Um, I use blue, a blue half box here. And we have a little girly girl and a wedding Wednesday script. And we're also gonna be working on orders for most of the day. Um, so I think I want another half box and pop it on its side. But what half box it is, is the real question. Um, actually, what I might do is there's these really thick strips of washi. Might use one of those layered with um, um, the one of these fancy labels. I'm gonna the fancy label is gonna be folded in half and cut into a flag like that. So what we're gonna do is gonna put this there with that layered over it, something like that, and then character sticker there, and a pack orders script like that. That's cute, I like that a lot. And that is it for the first half of the week. We'll either fill these spaces with full boxes or with more stuff depending on how the week goes. So let's turn over and look at the second half. So Thursday, the plan is to do a big day of wedding planning. And I mean a big day of wedding planning. Um, so I quite want a half box again, just debating. I think the pur light purple is the colour there's only going to be one of. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this down. I've got this Ezio to go on the top. And then in the box I've got a wedding script and also a planning time script. So it's going to read wedding planning time. And then we're going to pop in a full box. So I think we're going to use this one because there's two versions of that because there's an alternate skin tone in it next. And that's it for Thursday. Friday in the evening I have a game night with the Discord crew. So I'm going to pull in one of these hearts and this big cat's car with also a Discord crew Um, maybe that won't go in. Maybe I'll leave that um, there. I'll just put the game night script in instead. But it is with the Discord crew. So. That there. I feel like, I feel like the Discord crew kind of works up there. But I don't want to cover the cat's face either. Meh. Oh well. Um. Other things we're going to do on Friday is we're going to play a bit of catch up on whatever we need to do. So that's the first thing I'm going to mark in. Again, I'm going to use a squared box for this and then use this future me problems because I will be catching up on whatever future me problems were. And also I want to design the um, Valentine sales freebies. I think I'm going to use this box to mark that in. And then we'll mark in whatever we end up doing in the rest of that. On to Saturday. Saturday morning we have the live plan with me. So I've got this plan with me script there. Got a little Luna there and I'll put live in the gap there. Then I'm going to work on filming videos and I think I might do another like flaggy thick washi strip situation. I'm going to use this blue flag here. Again, cut it into a flag basically exactly the same as I did the other day. And grab a chunky strip of washi. I'm going to use the same chunky strip of washi. Pop that in first, followed by a flag, and then lay it over both of those things. 
actually what I kind of want to do. Yeah, layered over both of those things is going to be Ezia form. Don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and a film script. Then I just need a third box to finish off the day with doing my VA prep, which I just mark in as take photos. Then on Friday, um, I'm just going to move this across onto here so I know what full boxes I'm working with in the memory spread because I have no memory. Um, I'm going to use this box here. I'm going to pop a lazy date script over a chunk of washi. I've got a chunk of washi there. Lazy date over the top of it. I'm going to pop in the full box next. And then last but not least, I'm going to use either a half box or a squared box, probably a half box. Um, this one on its side to mark in playing video games because that's almost certainly what we'll do with a good chunk of the day. So we've just got that in there for video games and I don't love how that looks so we're going to try it in an alternate way and we need to grab undo because premium matte does not peel well off premium matte it peel well okay off the paper but um, not great off the um, itself so instead we're going to pop this box that way round put that on top and the video games script in the box because that looks much better and that's it i think so let's open her up and see what we're looking like so there's quite a lot of space at the moment but i kind of expect that for a week where i am off all week um i've got these three full box overlays so let's try and get those in i think this one will look best next to this girl i think that'll look really cute going up the side of her beautiful and then we'll frame the um, switch and I don't know which knot to put an overlay on I think this one's gonna get the overlay Monday's box can just be blank there, there so that's that sheet of overlays I could always do I might just pop a header overlay at the bottom and the top of this box just to give it a bit of sparkle like that that works that's cute i like that good so that's how the whole week is looking before the pen let's just check in with what's left in the kit this is what we are working with i'm going to try and color block the memory spread so we'll see how that goes so that's what I'm left with there and now without any further ado I'll speed up and write everything in so whilst I'm writing everything in it's time for our weekly check-in how are you all doing I'm feeling a bit more positive today than I was last week I think it's partly because I'm looking forward to my week off work and I think it should be fun and it should be a nice week and um, so I think that's got me like feeling a bit more positive than I quite often would um, but yeah, let me know in the comments how you are doing. Are you feeling positive or not? If you've been around for a little while, um, you might know that I've been struggling. And to be fair, this week has been no different. Yesterday was not a good brain day. Um, but I'm feeling a bit more positive when I'm filming this. So I'm going to take that and that's what we're going to tell you. Um, so yeah, comment like down below how you are doing. So yeah, this is the finished spread. I'm really loving how it came together. I think it's super, super cute. Let me know what you think down below. Do you think it's missing anything? Do you think it's perfect? Let me know what you think. And um, I'm just gonna pop in my bookmark back in this week because we are on Thursday when I'm filming this video. Um, so yeah, that's all I have for this video. Comment like down below if you enjoyed it. I know there's more white space than I normally leave at this point, um, but that's what a week off work will do. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!